Okay, let me bring in uh, Ms. Talos here. Um, she spoke about INEC having to do a bit more about voter education. Um, in your opinion, how much of voter education are the political parties engaging in, seeing as they stand to benefit mm -hmm. more from what the electorate decide? In my honest opinion, the political parties have not done anything. They are not doing anything. In the last two weeks, all we have heard from the political parties, within the political party space, is just about primaries, selections, and all of that. In my book, they really do not care about these voters, as far as I'm concerned, as far as voter education is concerned. As we speak now, there is no political party that I can point my hand to and say that this is a program or this is a scheme or this is something that they are doing to educate those who they want to come and vote their candidates. There is none. Neither the APC nor the PDP, who are the popular parties, nor any of the other ones, including the new ones. Nothing. The, it appears for the purpose of elections in Nigeria, the, the voter education responsibility rests squarely and only on the INEC. Which is contrary to what the law say. Well, yeah, well to, to that extent, the truth of the matter is that I would rather say that 85% of the burden rests on INEC because uh, Section 154 of the Electoral Act gives INEC the responsibility mm -hmm. to undertake civic education. Mm -hmm. So statutorily, it is their function. But you see, there is this thing that just because they want to cut off your neck, it doesn't mean that you should just put your neck willingly on the chopping block. <laughs> now, let me translate it to what I mean here. The, the political parties are the ultimate beneficiaries mm -hmm. of the voter education. So whether there is a legislation urging them to do voter education. Enlightened well, self-interest <laughs> should make it imperative for them to start doing something. So why do you think they are not? Is it that they're taking the electorate for granted or they have other means by which they want to convince the voters to vote for them? Well, uh, to, to some extent, you see, a man is the worth of what he knows. Even these political parties, in fairness to them, many of them don't even understand that they have a duty to educate these voters. The only thing they understand is, come and vote for my candidate, and they will do any and everything to realize that. Yeah, but how are they going to, okay, they will tell me, come and vote for my candidate. How are they going to ensure that I do come to vote for their candidate? Well, uh... From my own experience... Okay. From a bag of rice. Well, in some places, they call it stomach infrastructure. <laughs> and uh, the more the infrastructure, the larger the crowd that will follow. You see, yeah. words, vote by. Yeah. Uh, if you use the word in vote... Short. If you use the word <laughs> vote buying, that would be quite heavy. Because... What is it, then? What I mean by... I'm not saying that, in essence, it's not vote buying. It is. But when we, when we use that word, vote buying, it, uh, it gives it a kind of a heavy, to my mind, it makes it look a bit surreal. Because what they actually do... Now, I want to be very fair to the political parties. All they know, all they know is make sure you win. Do your best to win. And it is the fellow who wins that is said to be let me use the word, the best, so to speak. So for them, the ethics of whether you are actually doing proper enlightenment, whether this constitutes vote buying or not, is secondary to these political parties. It's secondary to them because what they want is to win. And if sharing a bag of rice as a result of poverty is what will help them to win, then they will consider it a go-go. Okay. No, um, sorry. Let me uh, add to what he said. On the other hand, I differ a little because I think 
Um, the person or the people that benefit from voter education is not exactly the political party. That's, exact, that's why they are not getting involved in it. The nation eventually benefits. The voting populace benefits because the more enlightened we are, then we are empowered to make more informed decisions. No, no, I, I think the fact that the uh, political parties can't invest and are not encouraged, so to say, because the more educated Nigerians are, then they are empowered to say, no, we don't want you. I found that from some so are political... So that the political parties deliberately keep the electorate ignorant I, or want the electorate to remain ignorant? I think there is no, for them, there is no reason, there's no impetus for them to engage and to, to invest in voter education because you see in actual fact voter education is not necessarily about vote for me it's so much more about what are the rights what are the things i'm entitled to what should i do as a t citizen what are the things that should inform who i vote for or I, who i vote against for instance the knowledge of knowing that uh, uh, in for representative in the national assembly or in the state assembly mm. that citizens have the right to recall someone they voted for, you know, how many Nigerians are informed of the rights? How many communities, uh, constituencies or words uh, are they informed that they have the power to call back a representative that is not performing? And so, you see, why would the political party want to invest in educating people that you have a right to call us back if at the end of the day it's going to be to their detriment? Do you understand the point I'm making? Yes, yes, I mean, I, I hear you, I hear you. But in the end, a party will still benefit from teaching the people or, you know, letting the people, making them aware of all these. Yes. You know, if, if we consider our party the best party, we will come to you and teach you so that you will see why we call ourselves the best party, so that when you go to vote, you will know that you should vote for us because of this, 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 and this, which the other party has not told you about. Yes, that, that's, that's the ideal. That's what we are, we are uh, hoping that our political parties begin to see. Now, because currently, like you said, what you said is that we have political parties who are more interested in going for power, winning Just the win. power. Mm. That's, that's the interest yeah, right now. Course. Exactly. So the ideology, the political parties need to grow away from just wanting to win to the fact that they are stakeholders in the Nigerian nation and they must contribute to developing the democracy. So the, in other words, the politicians appear to be more interested in the win in the political contest, not necessarily in governance. Exactly. Or in the national contest. As okay. Uh, Mr. Lose, what does the Constitution say as regards voter education? What do the laws say about voter education? Well, um, from the constitutional viewpoint, I have not seen in terms of specifics anywhere in the Constitution other than the creation of INEC. Now, like I mentioned before, in Section 154 uh, of the Electoral, Electoral Act, that is where and the only place we are in a mention of uh, voter education or a semblance of voter education is mentioned. If I may, I have a copy here. Um, trying to find the Electoral Act. Very well. I have a copy okay. here. I have mine too. Yes, 154. It says the Commission shall have power to conduct civic education and enlightenment in the print and electronic media to enhance its functions. Even this particular provision does not, strictly speaking, talk about voter education. So whether there is a legislation urging them to do voter education, enlightening self-interest <laughs> should make it imperative for them to start doing something. So why do you think they are not? Is it that they're taking the electorate for granted? Or they have other means by which they want to convince the voters to vote for them? Well, uh, to, to some extent, you see, a man 
is the worth of what he knows. Even these political parties, in fairness to them, many of them don't even understand that they have a duty to educate these voters. The only thing they understand is come and vote for my candidate, and they will do any and everything to realize that. Yeah, but how are they going to, okay, they will tell me, come and vote for my candidate. How are they going to ensure that I do come to vote for their candidate? Well, uh, from my own experience... Okay, from, a bag of rice. Well, <laughs> in some places they call it stomach infrastructure. And uh, <laughs> the more the infrastructure, the larger the crowd that will follow. You see, no, it's vote by. Yeah. Uh, if you use the word in vote, short. if you use the word vote buying, that would be quite heavy, because what, is it then? what I mean by I'm not saying that in essence it's not vote buying. It's